Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn how to generate random numbers with the random method in the math class. Some important facts. There are several ways to generate random numbers in Java, one of which is using the random method in the math class. The math class includes many mathematical methods, including the random method. For more information on other methods in the math class, please click on the video link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. Third, random is a static method, so we can call it without creating an instance of the math class. Math.random will return a value that is greater than or equal to 0, 0.0 and less than 1.0. That means the minimum value it can return is 0, 0.0 and the maximum value is 0, 0.9 repeating. It's important to understand math.random will never return 1. Let's say we want to generate a random int between 0 and 10 inclusive. We'd start by declaring an int variable, in this case we're calling it randnum, to hold whatever number we calculated. Then we would call math.random and we would multiply that by 11. It's very important to have these parentheses here because we want to make sure we multiply the result of math.random by 11 before we cast it as an int. Let's try this out and see how it would work. So the least value math.random could return would be 0, 0.0. If we multiplied 0, 0.0 times 11, we would get 0, 0.0. Then we would cast 0, 0.0 as an int, which would cut off everything after the decimal point, and leave 0. For more information on casting, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Now let's try it on the other end. The maximum value math.random could return is 0 0.9 repeating. If we multiplied that by 11, we would get 10.9 repeating. And when we cast that as an int, we would get 10. If math.random were somewhere between 0 and 0 0.999, we would get a number between 0 and 10. Now let's say we want a number between 1 and 10. We want the minimum value to be 1, so I added a plus 1 at the end. Let's try this out. So, we know math.random times 10 will give us a value between 0 and 9. So, if we add 1 at the end, that's going to end up giving us a value between 1 and 10. Because whatever math.random times 10 is, we're going to add 1 to it. Let's look at some examples of how we might use a math.random method. Let's say we wanted to pick a random name. So we've got an array of strings called name, and we've got three indexes, Dorothy, Glenda, and Toto. First, we're going to generate a random number between 0 and 2, because we've got index 0, 1, and 2. Then, once we had the random number, we would set our string chosen name equal to the name array, and whatever random index was chosen. Another example is if we want to simulate the flip of a coin. So in this case, we're going to generate a random number between 0 and 1, and that's going to be stored in the int variable coin flip. If coin flip equals 0, we're going to say it was a heads. If coin flip did not equal 0, we're going to have it output tails. So there'll be a 50-50 chance it's heads, 50-50 chance it's tails. For further reading on the math class, please either type math class Java into Google or type this link into your web browser. To see the next video in the curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.